Well, the Cardinals are about set to take the field. Temperature in the high 70s. It's very humid. Pete Falcone will be going to the mound for St. Louis. Falcone with a record of 2-6, and 5.35 ERA, and he'll be facing this Pittsburgh lineup. Rennie Stennett to lead off at second base. Rennie hitting 3-12, and Phil Garner, who's been hot over the past week, batting second at third base. Big Dave Parker will be in right field, batting third with Bill Robinson in the cleanup spot. Robinson in left. Al Oliver hitting 293 in the number five spot. Oliver is in center. Willie Stargell at first base. Stargell with 11 home runs to this point this season. Frank Tavares, who leads the majors in steals, is at shortstop. Duffy Dyer is back of the plate. He missed a week with a hamstring pull, hitting eighth. And on the mound, left-hander Jerry Royce. Royce, three and seven. Pittsburgh managed by Chuck Tanner. Setting the Cardinal defense tonight. Brock is out of the lineup. He's getting a rest. Hector Cruz will be in left field. Tony Scott in center field, and he has been hot at the plate, batting 3-11. Mike Anderson getting the start in right. The Cardinal infield is a good one. They cover a lot of ground, especially this man, the third baseman, Kenny Reitz. The shortstop might be the best player ever developed by the Cardinal chain. That's what they're saying in St. Louis now. That is Gary Templeton with Mike Tyson at second base. And Keith Hernandez enjoying a good year. Trying to get up at the 300 figure. Just a couple of points below that right now at first. Ted Simmons enjoying a good year back of the plate. And on the mound for St. Louis. A bit of an enigma. Pete Falcone who came up two years ago with the San Francisco Giants. Falcone spent only two years in the minor leagues, then made the jump not only to the majors, but right into the Giants' rotation. Spent a year in San Francisco. Then he was traded to the Cardinals for Ken Reitz, who has now, of course, come back in the deal that sent Lynn McLaughlin to San Francisco. But we're looking at a guy right now, Bill, who a lot of people feel should be one of the best pitchers in baseball in a very, very short period of time. But it looks like he's quite a bit away from that right now. Well, it takes left-handers a little longer to get to that point, I think, than uh, at least that's what they say. Now, being left-handed, I don't agree with it, but let's let's give the benefit of that doubt. <laughs> well, he's got a good fastball. He's got a shock-breaking curve, changes speeds well, but he has had concentration lapses this season, and perhaps that is the basic reason for his problems. He'll go to work on Rennie Stennett, Phil Garner, and Dave Parker in the first inning in the twilight in St. Louis. Stennett hitting 312, three homers, 27 runs batted in, and the first pitch is up high, ball one. One and oh. The Pirates had a six-game winning streak snapped in the second game of a doubleheader at home against Montreal yesterday. The Cards over the weekend took two of three from the Phillies. Fly ball to right field. Mike Anderson gets underneath it. And Stennett out number one. One away in the first inning. And that'll bring up Phil Garner. Garner came over from Oakland. Phil had been playing second base with the A's. The Pirates acquired him to play third. He has done a good job defensively. Offensively, his figures aren't that impressive, but he's been getting some key hits. He's been hot of late. And Garner, despite a relatively low batting average, is second on the club right now and runs scored. One and oh the count. Pete Falcone working on Gardner with one down, bases empty in the first. In there. One ball, one strike on Gardner. He'll be followed by Dave Parker. Outfield playing Gardner to pull. Falcone comes in with a change, and Gardner hits it foul off to the left and out of play. One ball, two strikes. Pirates are predominantly left-handed hitting ball club over the years. They're big guns from that side. So they would, over the years anyway, appear to be more vulnerable against left-handed pitching. You're talking about guys like Parker and Oliver, Stargell. One-two pitch, missing high. Two balls and two strikes to count. This year, the Pirates are playing 500 ball against left-handers. They are eight over 500 against right-handers. 
hit to left field and deep. Cruz looking up, and she's off the top of the fence. Cruz plays it on a hop, and Garner pulls in at second with a stand-up double. So Garner missed a home run by maybe two feet. Garner's a pretty good high fastball hitter. He got it there. Looked like a fastball, and he jumped all over it. You wonder why he's only hitting uh, down in the 220s. He hits a fastball well. He hits well with men on base. He did last year for the Oakland A's. So Phil Garner, who has hit 346 over the past week, doubles for the first hit of the game, and Dave Parker is the batter. He's leading the league. He's batting 353. 11 home runs, 51 runs batted. And right now he has a 13-point lead in the batting race with Manny Trio of the Cubs second at 340. Parker gets under it. It's a high fly ball to right center field, shallow. Scott is there and waves Anderson away to make the catch. Gardner holds a second. Two down. So the first three Pirates have hit the ball in the air. Stennett flying out to right, then Gardner a double off the top of the wall. And now Parker flies out as Bill Robinson comes up. Robinson has been hot, and with first base open here, Falcone really couldn't give him anything decent to look at. Left-handed batting Al Oliver is on deck. Robinson hitting 309. High for a ball, one and oh the count. Bill Robinson yesterday in the second game, there's Garner at second base, off to his lead. Robinson in the second game of the doubleheader against Montreal had four hits to celebrate his 34th birthday. Up high, ball two, two and zero. Oh. Bill Robinson, the kind of guy, took him a while to get started. The Yankees thought he'd be one of their key guys, and all of a sudden they became disenchanted, and out he went. Actually, almost stayed out of baseball a year. Went home to Indianapolis. Look where he's. Well, look what he's doing now. Pitches inside for ball three. Then the Phillies had him for a while, and now he's really come into his own with Pittsburgh. Well, he, he's bothered by a pulled leg muscle, and uh, he has tried pantyhose, but he doesn't wear them any longer. He wore them a couple of days to put them down. Just trying to get some of Namath's action in the commercials, I think. <laughs> that pitch is inside ball four. So it figured that Falcone wouldn't give Robinson anything decent to look at with a left-handed batting Oliver coming up and that's exactly what happens as Robinson walks and goes to first Garner is at second and Al Oliver comes up Oliver hitting 293 nine homers 36 runs batted in Oliver in April off to a slow start but Al a fine hitter and back up where he belongs now near 300 half swing strike in the count on one First inning, the Pirates and the Cardinals in St. Louis. This is the first in a four-game series. The two clubs, a twinite doubleheader tomorrow, and then a single game on Wednesday. For the Pirates, what it means is five games in three days with a doubleheader yesterday. Away from Simmons, who thought he had it, and the runners move off as Garner takes a big turn at third and then holds. Simmons thought he still had the ball in the webbing of his catcher's mitt as he looked into the mitt, and the ball was at the backstop. And it scored as a wild pitch. So the runners move along to second and third. And the count on Oliver is one ball and one strike. Outfield straight away. Two on, two out. Hit by the mound. Templeton can't get it. That's a base hit. Gardner will score. Here comes Scott's throw as Robinson comes home. And he is out of there. cut down at home after Garner comes in to score. Robinson cut down Scott to Simmons. A run, two hits, man left after a half. Pirates one, cards coming up. <laughs> 